single day as Premier. Not one, but two disastrous polls have Labor headed for its worst electoral wipeout in more than a century. The party could be reduced to just 14 out of 93 lower house seats. But it hasn't stopped the Premier or the opposition leader from one last dash to Sydney's west, where both campaigns began. State political reporter Matt Wordsworth brings you the closing hours of this campaign. What are you getting away from us? For 16 years, Labor's been in power. Now they're powerless to stop an outpouring of anger. Christina Keneally scrambled aboard her campaign bus to avoid two angry cab drivers. They're gutless. Come on. Have a talk with us. Come on. The government extended the hours of a free shuttle bus in Wollongong. These men say it's killing their livelihood. All we want is the hours reduced, that's all. By contrast, Barry O'Farrell's ride couldn't have been smoother. His campaign has been without major incident. First stop today was the Sydney markets, which is becoming a last day tradition for Liberal leaders. But this one isn't accepting the bouquets this early. So what are we doing, Mr Premier? Have you shown me around? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> putting the markers on. Two polls out today suggest he's in the box seat. Galaxy as Labor's primary vote still knocking along bottom at 22%, with the coalition still at 51%. On a two-party preferred basis, it's a massive lead. Likewise, news poll has Labor at a lowly 23%, compared to 50 for the coalition. Two-party preferred is 64 to 36. If we see those kind of results repeated across the board here in the ABC tally room tomorrow night, Labor could be left with as few as 14 seats. Barely enough for the 10-seat minimum for official party status. To add insult to injury, Barry O'Farrell will not recognise Ms Keneally as a former Premier and give her a car and office. Uh, there should be no entitlements, in my view, unless you've been elected Premier, not by some factional uh, arrangement, but by the people of New South Wales. She hasn't lifted her party's vote in six weeks, but still Ms Keneally campaigns. But both sides ceased hostilities to mourn the thousands killed in the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. Hard days ahead for Christina Keneally as she deals with a party in ruin, perhaps even harder for Barry O'Farrell, almost certain to assume the mantle of history and the weight of expectation. Thank you much, Jack. To the relief of many, the television campaign stopped two days ago. The banners are the last vestige of this battle, and many are sick of those too. Matt Wordsworth, ABC News.